and welcome to my shop. I'm Rob Cosman, your hand tool coach. I've spent a lot of time teaching folks how to cut joints by hand. A lot of those times I've witnessed them using saws that were less than ideal. So what we set out to do was to produce a crosscut saw that was ready to be used out of the box. Now to that end I test each saw personally before we ship so that when you get it it's ready to cut wood. What I'm going to do today is show you some of the features of that saw and demonstrate its use and give you some tips that will help you get the absolute maximum benefit out of your new crosscut saw. Here are the features I like the most. The first is real obvious when you pick it up. It's heavy. In fact, my saw weighs about double what the average small crosscut saw weighs. Why the extra weight? Well, I love the way it helps to stabilize the saw when you're using it. I also like the fact that it provides all the downward pressure necessary to start the cut. And that's really important if you're new to this. We got that extra weight by using more brass on the back and also using that same composite handle that we use on our dovetail saw. The two work together to provide a perfectly balanced saw. We use 15 teeth per inch, extremely sharp, very, very well sharpened, and a very narrow two thousandths of an inch set per side. It leaves a beautifully thin kerf. We fasten the blade to the brass using four copper pins, very secure, and the handle to the saw itself using split nuts. And you'll notice that the top split nut not only goes through the handle, but it goes through the brass and the blade as well to make for a very secure method of construction. Now that's the saw. The next thing I'm going to do is show you how well it worked. Comfortable stance, and everybody's a little bit different, but you'll find what's comfortable for you. As far as how do you hold the saw, it's designed to be an open, a uh, three finger open pistol grip is what we would call it. My index finger points down the length of the blade. How much force? About the same amount of effort that you would use shaking hands with a child. Very light. Now, I use my opposite index finger and thumb as an anchor point, and I press the saw laterally against them. This gives me a very accurate start and prevents that blade from wandering one side or the other. So pinch the wood, press laterally against it, just the weight of the saw for downward pressure, pull back slightly and go forward. As soon as you get started, use the full length of the blade. That's going to give you maximum life out of the sharpening. And when you're done, you should have a kerf or a surface that you could easily join to. Now, how do we get to that point so that every saw cut comes out like that? Here's a few exercises you can do. What we need to attempt or develop is stabilizing muscles that will prevent any whip when we saw. And a good way to do that is to make multiple vertical cuts and try to get closer and closer with each cut and that forces you to saw nice and straight from here right up through into your shoulder. Again, just the weight of the saw. There's nothing like using a good saw that has been properly set, properly sharpened. It's an absolute pleasure. Now as far as maintenance goes, if you have a moisture problem in your shop or in the area that you live, you may want to keep a light coat of oil on the saw between uses just to make, or keep the rust away. As far as sharpening, remember this is a joinery saw. Don't be using it to cut the end off of a board. This is just for your fine joinery. That way you can get a long life out of a sharpening. If you're not comfortable in sharpening the saw yourself, you can always send it back to us and we'll do it for you. This along with my dovetail saw are going to be two saws that you'll get a lot of use out of in your shop. They're an absolute pleasure to use and I'm glad you took the time to look into them. If you want, go to our website, robcosman.com. If you want a saw, we'll be happy to mail one out to you. And I appreciate the time you've taken to check out our saws.